Hello, can you hear me? I was born on January 8, 1942, exactly 300 years after the death of Galileo. I was 20 in October 1962, when I arrived in Cambridge at DAM, the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics. I had come to Cambridge to do cosmology, and cosmology I was determined to do. At that time, it became clear something was not quite right with me. The Christmas after arriving in Cambridge I went home. It was a very cold winter and my mother persuaded me to go skating on the lake in St. Albans. I fell over, and had great difficulty getting up again. I spent weeks in Bart's hospital, and had many tests. They never actually told me what was wrong, but I guessed enough to know it was pretty bad, so I didn't want to ask. The doctor who diagnosed me washed his hands of me, and I never saw him again. He felt that there was nothing that could be done. At first I became depressed. I seemed to be getting worse pretty rapidly. There didn't seem any point working on my PhD, because I didn't know if I would live long enough to finish it. But then the condition developed more slowly, when I began to make progress in my work. After my expectations had been reduced to zero, every new day became a bonus, and I began to appreciate everything I did have. And there was also a young woman called Jane, whom I had met at a party. Getting engaged lifted my spirits, and I realized, if we were going to get married, I had to get a job and finish my PhD. I began to work hard, and I enjoyed it. I decided to write a popular book. While I was writing it, I became critically ill with pneumonia, and lost my voice due to a tracheotomy. But I kept putting a lot of effort into the book. I never expected a brief history of time to do as well as it did. While there's life, there is hope. When we see the Earth from space, we see ourselves as a whole. We see the unity, and not the divisions. We are here together, and we need to live together, with tolerance and respect. We are all time travelers, journeying together into the future. But let us work together to make that future, a place we want to visit. I don't think we will survive another thousand years without escaping beyond our fragile planet. We must continue to go into space for the future of humanity. We will better understand our place in the universe. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. Be brave. Be determined. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do, and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. So remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Thank you for listening.